late last year we had an outreach to ivory coast the village in ivory coast and um i'm looking for those that can do the same thing in this meeting praise god it's better those that can do anything for jesus we approached we tried to witness in that village um about twice about three eyes it couldn't we didn't it didn't work it didn't allow us to get into their village their village had boundaries and had laws jesus was not known there they've not even heard of jesus let alone jesus christ all right why did they reject us in that village in ivory coast they dress naked they dress naked i'm not missing my word because nakedness is a dressing <laughs> praise god <laughs> they don't wear clothes that's what i'm saying you like in 2017 yes they do not wear clothes not even pants not wrapper we tried to approach them twice we couldn't redeem church all the churches you have thought about have tried it then we went back because for you to even enter the village as a visitor you have to go naked sons of those village that has left those vill that village for business or school when they come back to that village they come back naked when you get to the border you undress before you enter if you refuse to do that if you are a visitor you are coming to see the king you are allowed to come in with your boxer or your pant but before that you'll be given 24 strokes of king of koboko that was the law so we've tried it they've told us all of that i said hmm, it is well so i went back home because we went there with clothes like mission outreach take clothes take this they rejected it i was at home praying one day i was in south africa praying one day i live in both countries south africa and Ghana. I was in South Africa praying one day and the Lord told me and the Lord told me the reason they do not wear clothes in that village is because their idol forbade them to wear clothes or from wearing clothes so when I when the Lord told me that I called my pastor in Ivory Coast because we have a church in San Pedro in Ivory Coast I called my pastor in Ivory Coast I said this is what the Lord told me prepare an interpreter get our team we are going there so we got to the village we got clothes we had it in bags we got to the village we were told the same thing we knew that and uh, we were told either we take 24 strokes of king to see the king and after seeing the king will leave we won't be able to witness and they won't receive the clothes or we go in naked if you know you love jesus let me see you all right we had to go naked we undressed and we went like adam and eve if you can do that let me see hands has gone down you can go naked just to preach the gospel you can go naked to preach the gospel hallelujah so we went in naked their king was naked except but a leaf so we got to the king and i told the king i told him i said um, i've been reliably told that the reason you don't wear clothes in this village is because of an idol that speaks and I told him not to wear clothes can the idol talk to us if the idol can tell us the same thing we won't mind we'll go back with the clothes and we'll leave your village because we knew that we couldn't keep witnessing every day naked it will be a problem so we needed to deal with it Dealt with that we appeased the king we gave him the things that tradition requires we gave him gifts and everything but the king said no problem summon the high priest or the chief priest then we went to the shrine we have done the needful before we went we have prayed for days we have prayed for days so we'll go to the shrine the idol is like the skull the, the skull of a man's head that's where the hydor is and it talks the chief priest greeted the hydor he said Tan -tan. then he said they have come to ask you questions this and this and this as we got there 
We started binding quietly. We started binding every demon spirit in that environment. After all of the incantation and chanting, the idol refused to talk. The priest did the second time. The idol refused to talk. The king said, what is wrong with our God? Has he traveled? We were there, sitting down. The third time, the man chanted again. After he chanted, a thunder came from heaven and struck the idol's head. And the idol split it into two, like this. Right there, the chief priest ran away. The king ran to his palace. They started chasing him. Wait now. Well, the king said, I don't want to see you. Who are you people? You are gods. You are not ordinary. He said, I said, come. Yes, we know. <laughs> we came, we have come with Jesus. And the man was surprised. That day, the king passed a law. And Jesus became the king of kings and the lord of lords in that village. Do you understand? That same day. That same day, we had over 1,000 souls. The village is no more than 1,005. We had about 1,400 souls that day. They gave us the land for church and all of that. That same day. Now they are wearing clothes. Do you understand? Then later other ministries tried to come there. The king said, no. I only believe in the God of Irene Christian family. I don't want any church here. That's the name of our ministry. But my question is, how much can you do for Jesus? How much? How many people can really go naked because of the gospel? How many people? How much can you really do for Jesus? How much? 